All right, so I'm gonna show you how I prepare my Camu Camu and a coconut kefir drink in the morning. So I'll go ahead and um, first I'll pour some of this blackberry Izzy water. So I believe it's non-GMO and it says 70% blackberry juice. Um, you can do like just straight up blackberry juice would be better probably and then like or like uh, I used to use 100% uh, organic Conquer grape juice. I remember at Sprouts I believe or yeah I think Sprouts used to sell them for like five bucks for the like a glass bottle. It was like the Sprouts store brand and it looked really good and tasted really good. It was just store brand, nothing not like much of a difference in quality. And then I'll go ahead and put some of the kefir. I find this is like really um, uh, you know, like a good price for coconut kefir. You get like 30, 30 servings or so. And I think this bottle was like, you can probably get it down to like $15, $20 or something, depending where you get it from. Um, you get 30 servings. Sometimes like, you know, if you get, if, and it's like 100 billion CFUs in one. Um, the, the other ones, like the Kavita or whatever, fuck, I have another bottle right here, hold on. Like these ones right here. Um, oh, the simple truth, these ones are here like two bucks or something. Two dollars or more, something like that. Um, and it doesn't even say how many CFUs are in there, you know, it could be as little as 20. And you're paying 20, you're paying two dollars for a serving, so. I find this is like the best one to use. So it's gonna be kind of hard to one hand this shit, but you're probably just not gonna see me do it. I'm just gonna do it off camera. So, what? So I'm doing like a half a tablespoon right there. I'm gonna do two, two of those. So that's one. Yeah, serving size is one tablespoon. So I just do this every morning from now on. It's like my favorite way to start the day. It tastes really good. It's like refreshing, hydrating and shit. All right, so that's two of those. And then I've got my camera camera right here. This one's from Micro Ingredients. Um, it's pink. It used to be a different shade of pink. This one's like more like whitish pink now, but it used to be like just straight up pink pink. Um, people bitch about that. Uh, they like I don't know what they, they there's different complaints. They think it's like adulterated or it contains maltodextrin or something. Um, but this one claims, like on their site, it says no fillers, no additives. Um, you know, it's all organic, vegan, non-GMO. Um, yeah, it has, it, 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 it says it doesn't have additives, but, um, you know, it's supposed to be just all 100% organic cambi cam powder. It's the only ingredient on it. So unless they're lying to you, it should be just fine. Um, I do. I did look it up, and some of the drying processes that they use to get it to stay pink is uh, they use they do use maltodextrin to do that. Um, but this one claims no additives, and maltodextrin is an additive. So if if it claims that, it shouldn't have maltodextrin. I don't know, but um, you can test for that. I did try doing an iodine test using Lugol's iodine. Um, I, I know you can do that with milk. I don't know if you can do it with this. I figure it's probably the same thing. There's also, that's like a cheap, inexpensive test you can do. But then there's also maps reduction to test strips, which I'm not sure how to get, where to buy them, how much they cost. But you can do that as well. And I do know those work for milk. Um, and then I think there's like a third test you can do. Um, I did save the file. or I, did, I think I saved the link of those tests. But I don't know, I trust them. And there's maltodextrin and a lot of other shit that you you know, you'd probably buy, so I wouldn't worry about it. And basically, it's either you get the pink stuff or you get the sandy, grainy, brown, bad-tasting, crappy stuff. And this stuff tastes so much better. Um, still like a neutral flavor, but still a like way better. And it blends so much better with this, like just the colors and the antioxidants are all there. And um, the brown stuff basically has been oxidized, and that's why they're brown. You know, anything that lost its color is because it's an oxidized. Anything that has a, like a bright ass pigment means it has hella antioxidants in it. And so why would you want to like oxidize it and degrade the quality through the drying process? Why would you want that, you know? So I you know, I think these guys are really good. And they have like a hundred other products. You know, I highly doubt that they found ways to adulterate every single one and put the right amount of sweetener. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. So I think these guys are trusted. I've seen other people like 
um, different health gurus that I follow and stuff like start to use this brand. So I think they're catching on. So I think this is good stuff to use. Um, I have to. I don't think I'm. Yeah, I will have to like go off camera for a second here. And by the way, that cereal is not mine. I, I don't eat cereal. So ignore that. All right. So you can like mega dose this stuff, but I don't got much to invest right now. So I'm just gonna do. I've been doing a single scoop just like that. You know, I, I thought I remember the scoops being smaller. Um, but you know, whatever. The more the better. You know, it's like forty-four servings in this whole bag, and so that's like maybe a month and a half. Yeah, forty-five point four servings. So that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, and I remember the vitamin C content used to be higher too. Like it used to be, what's it say here? It says seven sixty percent. Um, the highest you'll usually see it is like 11, like 1,180 or 1,140 or something percent. Um, 760 isn't bad. Um, you want something that's at least 760 generally, in my opinion. Um, the lowest I've seen it is probably like 480 or even lower. Um, I don't know if this the serving size, like the serving size is different, but like check that out. It looks sick. The carbonation and all that, it, it just, for some reason we add all this together. Oh, I forgot the magnesium. Like all this for some reason, like together, just helps the cami cami dissolve because it does clump up. And uh, so I put like 14 drops of this 13, 3, 4, 5, 6, I don't know, I probably lost count. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. You can probably do like a little bit more if you want. Like that's the serving though, basically. It says a quarter of a teaspoon, and I, I measured it out, and like a quarter of a teaspoon came out to be like 14 drops. Um, generally does dissolve better when you add all this shit together. Um, and it doesn't clump up as much like this. I think just because I forgot the magnesium initially, and I let it sit a while, and now it's starting to get a little clumpy, but usually doesn't clump up like that. But it looks really cool and like foams up all the carbonation and shit. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much good right there. So, and I'll just go ahead and cap that with a, a brown napkin. Put this back in the fridge. Put that back in the fridge as soon as I can. Um, yeah, and that's how I make my camu cam in the morning. Again, you can use grape juice. You can even use red wine. You know, but if you're if you're gonna do it at night, maybe you can do that. Um, it, I find it dissolves very well in red wine as well, organic red wine, of course, which you can get for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, depending which brand and where you get it. Um, there you go. So I do it. And you can also add like fulvic, like ionic fulvic minerals or ionic silica and maybe some other stuff too. But this is all I got for right now. So I just use this and that. And then probiotics. And then if you wanted to add iodine, you could, but I don't mix iodine with probiotics because that kills the probiotics. So I just do either probiotics or iodine. And for right now, I'm just doing the probiotics and that. And um, that's it. So that's how I make my camera camera drink.